morning. It's a lovely day today, sunny. So I'm gonna cycle with you to the hospital. So let's go. my office and I'm gonna get started doing um, some different procedures um, for one experiment I'm doing. Um, I have a group meeting today as well where we go over kind of what's happened over the last week or different results and, and give each other feedback so my group's um, not so big but it, it's a good chance to catch up with everyone. Um, and then tomorrow I'm giving a presentation to the whole department so um, I need to prepare for that and make a PowerPoint and decide what to include, um, what of my results is worth including and then you get feedback from the department about your results as well. So fingers crossed it all goes well and um, I'll see you guys later. So this is my office, um, a group of PhD students all sit in here and um, yeah we get on quite well so that's good. This is my desk, a little bit of a mess right now but this is where I work. And it has a really nice view out the window of the Euromast. It goes up and down like this. So this is the lab. This is my bench in the lab with my beautiful lab book and all of my random scribbles about concentrations and different mixes. My presentation ended up going fine, no stress, um, gave me some new ideas, I got some good feedback from people with things to think about for planning my experiments and everything. So yeah, success, and now I can relax for the rest of the week a little bit. Um, so I said last week that I talk about making friends here and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's harder than you think, but it's mainly because of the language barrier and um, finding the time to go out and do stuff. So um, at the weekends, after a long week up at the lab and sometimes having to go into the lab even at the weekends, I kind of just want to relax. So that makes me quite unsociable, which I shouldn't be. So I'm friends with my flatmates, uh, which is really nice. And luckily people in the lab are really nice. I get on with my group and people in the other groups within our department. And our department is really good with doing um, social things sometimes, so we'll go uh, a couple of times, um, well, once a month or so, um, out after work for some beer or out for dinner. Um, we've done things like going laser gaming, going go-karting, and, and really finding time to, to socialise outside of work, which is lovely. Um, we also organise uh, for all of the PhD students in our hospital and in the Leiden hospital, um, uh, once a year to go for this kind of meeting, we go to uh, for a PhD symposium um, to a different location every year. So this year we're going to Dortmund in Germany and um, last year we went to Maastricht in the south of the Netherlands. Um, some of the other international PhD students and the master students and me, we've gone um, exploring around the Netherlands a little, so on the weekends there's a cheap train ticket thing where you can, well, you pay a monthly um, kind of subscription to this card and you get a unlimited weekend travel all around the Netherlands, which is really, really good um, and it's let us kind of go and explore these really nice places. One of my favourite places was this place called Zanzeschans and it's um, like 
got five different chocolate factories so as soon as you step out of the train the whole place smells like chocolate it's amazing so yeah that's a place i'd recommend to go um so all in all it's not too hard to socialize if you make the time to do that so that's good hey so it's saturday and i'm gonna take you on a tour around rotterdam we'll go to the market and some other nice places and um, it's a really sunny day so hopefully it'll be nice <laughs> you enjoyed your trip around Rotterdam and it gave you a little idea of how it's all set out and um, a lot of it was bombed in the war so that's why it's so new compared to a lot of other Dutch cities so most tourists that come to the Netherlands they'll um, go to Amsterdam and kind of stay there and maybe go to Utrecht but um, Rotterdam is really underrated I think it's a really lovely place to visit and really nice place to live so if you're going to the Netherlands give it a look um, okay, so thanks for watching my week two video. See you next week.